Welcome to Scotch Bonnet in Time, Caribbean Love Online. I'm your host, Lady Fine, and welcome to the kitchen where we have good fun, good love, and good conversations. Yeah, I hope you have a good Sunday. But before we get started, tonight we're serving roast breadfruit, roast breadfruit with Aki. Before we get started, we have kitchen rules to get through. Kitchen rules. Rule number one, this is my show. Rule number two, I run the show. Rule number three, don't forget the first two rules. Rule number four, don't waste my time or the time of the daters. Rule number five, be respectful. If somebody's not your type or you're not somebody's type, it's okay. Just go, just go where you love. And rule number six, relax. And let's have some fun. So tonight we're going to do something different. I'm going to show you what's going to happen to you if you decide not to be brave and you decide not to call the show because you're scared or you're shy. To join the show, all you have to do is click the link in the description and it will take you right to me. And we'll talk about what you're looking for and hopefully you'll find your dream guy or your dream girl. So I'm gonna show you a video. Let's watch this together. struggling with something and i want to talk about it but before i do i need people if you are a parent who was like touched out yeah. by your children i do not want to see you in the comments if you are someone with any kind of neurodivergency and it manifests or shows up as you not liking touch or people touching you i do not want to see you in the comments okay but i am i, I feel like I'm dying from like touch starvation, y'all. I don't, I, this isn't, I don't, I don't get hugs. I don't know. I feel like if I were to get the kind of hug that I fucking really want, I would crumble into pieces. I, I don't, how do you deal with that? I really like like need to be like touched and I know someone's gonna say like okay go to the salon and get your hair done or get a massage or or get your nails done right so someone can hold your hand none of those people love me none of those people none of those services love me right but I am really I'm really struggling I'm really struggling with like I don't I don't get hugs. That shit is <laughs> it could be like maybe a hello a, you know a whatever maybe um but it's not enough. I don't know how I don't know how you How am I gonna go the rest of my life like this? I, I think that that's really hard. I don't, there's no, I really, I'm just really struggling. I'm really struggling. Like I spent like last night just going like this. Yeah, I'm just, if anyone else is struggling, what are you, what are you doing? That, isn't that the saddest thing you've ever seen? That, that is chronic loneliness. That's chronic depression. I, 
I wish that on no one. It's, 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 it's difficult. It's being single today is not, it's not like how they put it in sex and the city. That's not what being single today is. It's, it's, it's loneliness. It's depression. Don't let that be your story. Don't, don't let other people write your story for you. Go out there, put yourself out there, um, date. Don't, don't opt to be alone. Don't opt for loneliness. Don't, don't let this be your story. It's not a fun place like she just demonstrated. And don't worry, if that didn't scare your socks off, I have more for you. Let's check this one out. I'm gonna have a punchline. Tell you that right off. Where did all the good men go? So this video isn't gonna have a punchline. Tell you that right off the bat. Um, because I am basically just making it to stop crying. Um, because usually when I start trying to make a video, I stop crying. And um, I've been crying all day because I got sat on a plane next to a couple. And the whole time the guy had his hand on like his girlfriend's leg, you know, and it was just kind of like that the whole time. And um, I just, I can't, like, I've been single my whole life. I'm 25 and I've never gotten to experience that. I've never gotten like close to that. And it's just too much. Like it's too much. I can't do it anymore. There are some people out there who they don't, they're not interested in a relationship and they want to be by themselves. But like, that's not me. And that's never been me. I have always wanted to be in a relationship, even though I've never been in one. Um, and even though I'm like, I'm comfortable by myself and I can do things alone. But like at a certain point, it gets like really sad doing things alone. Like I've traveled alone to so many places because like if I don't go by myself, I'm not going to go. If I don't do things by myself, it's not going to happen. But at the same time, like it's so much fun to be able to like share that with someone else. And like everyone I know is in a relationship right now. And like the majority of them have been in relationships for like a long time. Like this is established. And I just like, I feel like I've always been alone and I don't want to be, and I don't understand why this is happening to me. Um, and I just, I don't know. I like can't take it anymore. Um, and clearly this didn't work because I'm still crying and I just wasted like two minutes of your time and I'm sorry. <laughs> and I hope you're having a better weekend than I am. <laughs> so. Where did all the good men go? Tell you that right off the bat. <laughs> I'm telling you, loneliness. Imagine being so lonely, so sad, so depressed that you're driven to come to the internet and cry on TikTok. Oh, by the way, I own none of these videos. None of these videos are mine. I own the rights to none of it. Uh, and all these videos are for educational purposes. I think that should be it. That should cover me, right? But imagine being so sad that you come on the internet crying because you're so lonely. It's like depression and loneliness stops here, but to come on the internet and be so vulnerable and to cry like that, you have to be like up here. You pass this, the, the, you, you pass the cap, like loneliness is here and you're here being single is not fun it, it who, like she says she go on all these trips and you go by yourself like who wants to go on trips by themselves it's it's no wedding get and it was a beautiful wedding so yeah. i just got home from a wedding and it was a beautiful wedding gorgeous the couple beautiful love them wish nothing but happiness for them but weddings <laughs> i'm happy i'm so happy for them but they make me so sad like in the moment i'm really happy and like i'm having a good time i'm like hanging out with the people that i love but weddings make me really sad i guess that makes me kind of selfish because i'm thinking about myself obviously because 29 
and very single and don't even know if I'll ever get married because uh, <laughs> the opportunity has never uh, been there for me um, in the slightest. So yeah, but it was fun. You know, one of the things that we don't talk about a lot or most people don't even give a second thought, it's, it's all the lonely people that attend weddings. And if you're married or if you've ever been to a wedding, have you ever thought about all the single lonely people that may be there? No, no, nobody thinks about the single people at a wedding. Nobody thinks about the people sitting in the congregation or in the crowd or the gathering wondering, man, when is going to be my time? Am I ever going to get married? Is anybody ever going to want me? There are people at weddings that are so sad and so lonely and they're overlooked because it's not their time i know your time no but yeah the next time you go to a wedding look around and see if you can spot out the lonely single people that are there 2023 and it's also my birthday and today i want to talk about lonely what she's saying again i really worry it's january 23rd 2023 and it's also my birthday and today i want to talk about loneliness because that is the predominant emotion that i feel today with it being my birthday and everything i have just come off a great vacation where i had such a good time i went on a solo cruise for seven days it was amazing obviously i'm going to give more details later but i also want to say for that cruise i cried every single fucking day of the whole seven days and since then i've been crying including today my birthday and i just i'm crying because what i feel is acute loneliness and i don't know how else to better explain that i obviously i have my family um you know my immediate family my mom my 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 siblings but i am single i have been single for like ten thousand years right i've been single for forever and the loneliness i feel is i really 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 miss being in a relationship and not just any old relationship i mean like where you know somebody has your back you know where you know they got you where you feel safe i haven't felt those things in decades every guy that i have met especially in the last five years that i've been in this country have come nowhere near meeting my needs and i just it fucking blows and it makes me feel really really sad so since i'm trying to accept and deal with vulnerability this is me putting it out there and saying i am fucking lonely and i can't wait to sit with my therapist this week and just be like sis i've been saying this for a minute but it's in 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 britney spears famous words my loneliness is fucking killing me like <laughs> legit real fucking talk i don't know what to do about it though loneliness is not fun i I, this this show is to show you and convince you that loneliness is not fun. Whatever you're doing or not doing that's keeping you single, it's it's time to stop. I'm doing you a favor. I'm trying to prevent you from getting to this stage. Don't get there. Don't get there, girl. Don't let this be your story. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know, it's crazy because I um, joke a lot about being single and you know I um I laugh it off but I'm 46 years old and while I'm getting ready for surgery and everything it dawned on me Hold on. I'm sorry. It dawned on me that I'm 46 years old and I don't have a husband to take care of me. I don't have a husband to 
help me get ready I'm 46 years old and I still need my mama to take care of me post-op I still need my sister which whether I had a husband or not they would they would be there It sucks. Being single and 46 sucks. That's it. It just sucks. And I'm fucking tired. And I make jokes about the fucking buffoons that I have been encountering in in dating. But in reality, this is this is my reality. <laughs> this is my reality. This is my reality and this those stories are the shit that's available because all the good men have gotten married in their 20s and 30s because they're good men <laughs> being single is not fun guys I'm telling you she's 46 it doesn't get any easier the older you get in fact I would argue that it gets harder because now you're competing with everybody even the young ones. So it, it 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 doesn't get any easier as you get older. Don't don't grow old alone. Come on the show. Okay, let's look at another one. Do not die alone. Do not choose loneliness. Do not choose single life unless it's something that you genuinely want. Terry, I'm 54 years old. Single, right? Women, I know I'm not alone in this because here I am 54 years old, single, right? And yeah, we all have the tools in our drawers, but you drink, you get horny. You smoke weed, you get horny. And then yeah, you could go hook up with some guy, but then you really want the connection because it's so much better. And even sober sex is so much better than being drunk. And it's like, you know, it's like we're just screwed. And I just hate that, that we can't just be like, I know some women can, and more power to you women that can, and I wish I could just go pick up a guy and get laid and have it just be great. And yeah, see ya. Or find a great friends with benefits that just doesn't stress you out and doesn't want more than what you can give, and but is a friend and it's cool. God damn it. I hate being single at 54 sometimes. It's not good at 46. It's not good at 54. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes it. And it's it's just such a difficult place to be when you're lonely. And you know what's worse? When you're lonely in a foreign country. Check this one out. I feel so alone. People don't tell you about moving to Canada. It's, I feel so alone. Like, I feel like I live with someone I can't have a conversation with and I'm trying to cry and I even have to be silent about it. Cause, <laughs> you just lose out on so many things. Your life, you just leave it behind. Your friends and I'm so hurt and my heart hurts. You have to work all the time. I have school. I'm so sad. I'm hurting so much. I don't have any friends.
sad. It's sad. It gets lonely. And she moved to Canada from Nigeria. So she's sad and cold. That's two deadly combinations. Don't, 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 don't do it. I, I recommend against it. Don't do it. But look at this one. This is a good indication of what will happen. Come on the show. Complex. And I live alone. I am very single. And there was a tornado. Yeah, let's back her up. I we go. this afternoon and I will tell you how. So I live in an apartment complex and I live alone. I am very single. And there was a tornado. Warning. I'm watching the Weather Channel. It appears as though this potential tornado is coming directly towards me. I live on the third floor. They're telling me to take shelter, get to low ground. I don't know what to do. I'm thinking about how I'm probably just going to die alone. Um, and then I look out my window and I see some people walking over to like the common building in my apartment complex that has the gym and everything. So I think, okay, I don't have to go through this alone. I can get over there. So I sprint across to the building in the pouring down rain with my little dog. Most rain I've ever experienced in my entire life, soaking wet. I get in there, I look around, it's all of the old ladies and their little dogs that live alone in my apartment complex. And they all went over there so they didn't have to die alone either. I'm the old lady with the little dog in the apartment complex too. Don't let that be you. Don't let it be you. Don't, don't let it be you. It's, it's a sad place to be, I'm telling you. I, uh, you know, you go out in the world and you see all these men and they're, they're single men and you see all these women and they're single women. And then you're, you ask the question, so, so what's happening? How come this group is not mingling with this group? Like what's happening? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. So I'm here to bridge the gap. I, I'm just here to bridge the gap. There, there are single men and there are single women, and everybody say they can't find anybody. It baffles me. So here we are. Come on in the kitchen. Look at this one. But with this one, you know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about people, especially women that are single, men too that are single, and they they try to make it seem like it's a good thing, and you're like, I'm single. Nobody bothers me. Uh, I don't have anybody to answer to. It's not true. They go home and cry. They're, they're, they're sad and they're lonely. Don't believe them. For a second. I just want to come on here and be real with y'all for a second. That like, I know we joke around and kiki on here, but like there is a part of the single life where, you know, it's not all glitz and glam and whatever, like, at times, sometimes, not all the time, this is very frustrating. It gets annoying, you know, especially if you think you found someone and it's not your person and then you have to put yourself back out there, be vulnerable again. It is annoying. It is frustrating. Sometimes you want to break your phone. You want to delete the apps. You want to block the numbers like you don't want to. You just don't want to do it because especially if you've been single for a long time, I I'm tired. I'm tired. Be tired. Whenever you get tired, just come on the show. Whenever you get tired, just come on the show. Okay, look at this one. We have one more to share. Look at this one. Cautionary tale. I'm hurting y'all because I want to be love. And the truth about it is y'all. I'm hurting y'all because I want to be love. I want marriage. You know, a lot of us get on here, we act tough and we be like, I don't want a man. I don't need a man, but I want help. I want to be loved. I want somebody to love me. I want somebody I can be vulnerable with. The problem is, and I'm not crying y'all because I'm sad. I'm crying y'all because it's like a release right now. <laughs> but the problem for me y'all is that all the relationships that I had with men, were not about love it was about survival for me i know how to fuck i know how to cook i know how to clean i know how to seduce a man i do not know how to love a man and then 
to have a son because of those choices that I was making y'all and I got pregnant really really fast I got pregnant within 90 days of knowing my baby daddy and we don't talk about this shit because it's embarrassing and it hurts it fucking hurts and I'm mad with me I'm not mad at men I'm not mad at I'm not mad at my life I'm, I'm, I'm mad at me because I don't know how to fix me I don't know how to fix it that's that's accountability <laughs> That's the shit that hurts. It's realizing that, hey, I got some shit with me that I don't know how to fucking fix. And in turn, because I don't know how to fix that shit, I'm fucking up other people around me. That's accountability. That's I hope that scared the Aki out of your saltfish. Listen, don't, don't let this be your story. Write your own story. Put yourself out there and get partnered, get coupled. Find your person. Have somebody. Don't, it, it's, it's foolish not to learn from the mistake of others. It's foolish. This will be you. What you just saw will be you if you do nothing. The man or the woman is not just going to come show up in your life i guess maybe for some people that's how it happened but for most of us it it, it mm, kind of say go so don't learn 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 from this this was cautionary tale don't let this be you and don't think men aren't lonely too don't think that men are not suffering from chronic loneliness like these women it's just that men don't really come on TikTok and cry. It's not, it's not their thing. So they do it, they cry, um, and they're lonely too. And if you're watching this and you're sad and you're lonely, it's okay. You're not the only one, but did do something for you. Come on the show and see what happens. But whether you come on the show or not, whatever you do to find your person, do it. Don't just sit and do nothing. Write your own story. Create your own future. You, you have to do the work. They say relationship is work. The work starts before the relationship starts. The work starts before you meet the man. The work starts before you meet the woman. Work is going out there for meet the man. Work is putting yourself out there for go meet the woman. The relationship at work, the work starts before them come. And that's just, that's, that's just how it is. Love is a risk. Love is a gamble. But, but bet on yourself. Bet on yourself. Don't let this be you. Don't let this be your story. Uh, this was my cautionary tale. Please share the video. I like it. I would like you to help me to widen the pool. Um, until next week, you guys. Don't stay single. Don't lock yourself up. Don't cut yourself off from the world. It's not cool. Don't get to the point where you've lost yourself. Don't get to the point where you look in the mirror and you have no idea who's looking back at you. And then you go on TikTok and cry because that's the point that you have allowed yourself to get to. Uh, anyway. This was Scotch Bonnet and Time, Caribbean Love Online. I'm Lady Fine. Thank you for joining me. And until next week, be kind to yourself. Toodles. <laughs>